In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a seat plan. So all you have to do is go to Tools, and then Seat Plan Creator. And then here, where you see Manufacturer, we're going to put in, in this case, we're going to say Airbus. And then in Model and Airline, we're going to say A320 mm, Swiss. So number of columns is how far back in the airplane your seats are going to go. So we'll just we'll set it to 40, for, just as an example. And the number of rows uh, is the uh, number of seats vertically when looking at it from this 2D view uh, you're going to have. So we'll set it to 6 for now. And then all we're going to do is do Generate New Editor. So as you can see, we've got 6 rows going this way. And then we have 40 uh, going back. So all you want to do, so this is, the, all, in this case, all of these green ones are seats. If you want to get rid of a seat, uh, all you have to do is click on it once and it becomes red. Uh, so in this, so now all of these seats would be active, except there would be nothing here. If you want to create a washroom, so let's say we want to put one here, all you have to do is click on it once and it becomes red, and then you click on it again, and when it becomes blue, then it's be, there's going to be a washroom there. So now these two would be washrooms and the rest of these would be active. If you want to make an aisle, you can either just keep clicking uh, on these seats to make them red, going as far back as you'd like, or you can click here and do create aisle, then click OK, and then next seat you go, you make all of those seats in that row or columns, or sorry, yes, row are going to become red and then you get an aisle there. So if we clicked here, for example, all of these now become red and you would have nothing here creating an aisle. And you can do this as many times as you'd like. And now you have all of these active and then none of these red ones would be seats. These two would be washrooms and all of the green ones would be active seats. Now, if you want to save it locally, so only you can use it, you hit save locally and then it'll be ready to use in Paxson. If you do save and upload, it saves it so you can use it, but it also uploads it to the workshop for anyone else to download.